For the last year and a half or so, I've used the Tetra Alpha Shield Multi Pursuits on every single hunt I've been on for ducks, geese, turkeys, deer, pheasants, crows, and more. And today I'm gonna give you my all season review as well as the pros and cons. <laughs> Hey, this is George with the New Hunter's Guide podcast and YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to give you my full review on the Tetra Alpha Shields. Now, if you're not familiar with them, this little piece of technology, I believe, is the single most innovative advancement in hunting gear since the invention of the modern firearms. To give you a little bit of background on what these things do, they help make you, they have made me a better hunter. Now, how do they do that? Are they hearing protection? Yes, they are hearing protection, but that is not what's amazing about them. What's amazing is everything else that they do. And before I go any further, is this video sponsored? No, it is neither sponsored nor requested by Tetra. So the way this little device works is it amplifies, it magnifies the sound of the game that you are hunting. So what Tetra did was they studio recorded thousands of game sounds, duck sounds, turkey sounds, deer, elk, pheasant, upland game, and many more in order to synthesize them into audio algorithms. Then the processor inside this little device, whenever it picks up those sounds while you're wearing them, it amplifies those sounds. So the effect is you can hear a duck quack from further away while you're wearing the alpha shields than you can with your regular hearing. You can hear a turkey gobble from further away. You can hear a deer grunt and you can hear footsteps in the woods from further away. And every game profile that they've programmed into these things, you can hear whatever the specific sounds that go along with hunting that piece of game from further away than with your naked hearing. The other thing that they do is they fix and improve your hearing. So say your hearing in one ear is maybe a little lower than the other. You do a hearing test whenever you order these and they figure out what is your hearing in both ears and where is that compared to normal. So if one's a little lower, they can raise that one up. If both are a little low, they can raise both of your ears up. So when you walk into the woods, you can do so with perfect hearing, just like you could when you were a kid or even better, depending on what your hearing is. And on top of that, they synthesize the sounds of every game that you're hunting and amplify them so that you can hear them better and more clearly. Now the best part about it, and maybe the, the, the part that the people are most interested in, is then you pull the trigger with your gun and what these things do is that they muffle that sound. They don't just muffle it, they dial back the audio. So you can hear everything that's going on, you pull the trigger, and then all of a sudden, that Magnum shotgun load sounds just like a BB gun. It effectively turns your gun into an air rifle, and actually lower volume than that, I think. So you can be out in the blind, you go through a dozen shells in a day, the other people that you're hunting with each go through a dozen shells in the game, and every time someone pulls the trigger, even if they're six inches from your head, all you hear is psh, 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 psh just like that and it's done, it, you don't flinch, you don't have the effect of that muzzle blast that sort of rattles you, and you find that you can hear things that you've never heard before. You take a shot at a duck, and all of a sudden you can hear that duck hit the water and splash. Normally I'd hear that sound of the bird hitting the water, sort of like a dull thud. I'd hear it splash, but I wouldn't hear the tones and the frequencies and the sounds and just the high range of that. All of a sudden now with these in, I find I can hear things that I never heard before. And of course, the most obvious benefit, you can hear everything that's going on in the woods. You can hear birds, you can hear your friends talking, you can hear your footsteps, you can hear everything except the things you don't wanna hear because these little guys are programmed to also filter out the sounds that are not helpful, like wind noise, for example. All right, now I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of how they perform for every type of hunting and then give you the pros and cons at the end. 
So number one use for these is probably going to be waterfowl hunting. Let's just face it, people are firing a lot of shells. It does a lot of damage to your hearing. That's probably the number one pursuit people are gonna use these for. And honestly, that is what drew me to Tetra. In fact, I did a full write-up of this, told my story about how I found out about these and where I was at in my hunting journey. And I'll link to that below. I did a feature length blog post review on my website, New Hunter's Guide. You wanna check that out also. So waterfowl hunting. Guys, these changed my life when it came to waterfowl hunting. They changed the way that I hunt. I had reached a point, I didn't know if I was gonna be able to keep hunting because the sound and the effect on my ears was so great. But it, man, you pop these in and all of a sudden it's a different game. You can hear so well. You can hear ducks flapping their wings as they start to get close and circle. You can hear geese honk, I, I swear it feels like 10 miles away coming in at you. They work wonders and every shot saves your hearing every single time. You can hear wood ducks whistle as they're flying towards you from a distance. They're programmed for every kind of waterfowl that you can hunt and you can go after in the good old US of A and probably beyond that as well. They are outstanding. They are worth the price just for that alone. Then you move into things where they're maybe not as used, but I think just as important, like pheasant hunting, upland game. You could be shooting dozens of shells in a season going after them, and they will actually amplify the sound of birds taking off the flourish of pheasants flushing and grouse and anything else. They can modify and amplify the sound of them taking flight. And then of course your regular sounds, you know, a pheasant's cackle and all the other game sounds that these birds make, they can amplify those and enable you to hear those from a further distance. Whereas every time you pull the trigger, it just deadens that sound and then immediately your hearing comes right back. Also with turkey hunting, they have proven to be amazing pieces of gear. I've been walking into the woods early in the morning and said, hold on, hold on, I know it's still a half hour before daylight, but let me put my tetras in so that I can hear from further away in case any gobblers gobble at a great distance. And I put them on, people say, well, you know, does it, does it bother you wearing them all day? Absolutely not. You can put them in for hours and hours at a time. They fit great. They fit great in your ear. You forget that you're wearing them and you just hear normally. I have worn these things for deer hunting. I have even worn them for archery hunting. Are you like, archery? Yeah, archery hunting. Now, you're not protecting your ears from anything, but because they boost your hearing, because they enable you to hear the deer walking and making their sounds from further away, I have even worn them into the woods with a bow. And then of course, for firearms, you get all the obvious benefits and they protect your ears as well. I have worn them crow hunting and several other different pursuits. And in every single one, they have been worth it. They are absolutely excellent. Now a quick breakdown of what it's like when you first get these. You open the box, you've got your pair of Tetras, you've got a travel case in there, as well as some extra batteries, instructions, and those things. And you've got the different tips. There's silicone tips and foam tips. Now, I prefer the silicone tips myself. Some people like the foam tips more. I like them because of how quickly and easily I can just slip them right into my ear. I don't need to compress them. I don't need the weight. I can put them in in literally five seconds, and then I'm ready to go. And one of my favorite things things about the Tetris is they do not fall out of your ears. I've worn other stuff, guys. It was the biggest struggle to keep it in my ears, to keep it from falling out, especially if I'm wearing a hat or a beanie. Seemed like that always pulled them out of my ears. But the Tetras, none of that. They stick right in the ear. So you pick the size of tip that you want. You go ahead and put the battery in. They use little number 10 hearing aid batteries, You're like hearing aid batteries. Well, yeah, they are built with hearing aid technology. In fact, high grade hearing hearing aid technology. If you were going to buy the hearing aids that use the same technology that these do, you would pay 6000 or so dollars for those hearing aids. Tetra can sell them to you a lot cheaper because they don't have to go through all of the certifications, inspections, and insurance validations, and all the other random stuff that you have to do for anything labeled medical. 
Now, the first time I put these in, I was inside of my house when I put them on and they are not tuned like a hearing aid. As soon as I put them on, I was like, oh, this is weird. This is strange. This doesn't sound right. I was immediately dissatisfied with them. I was kind of feeling paranoid. I was like, oh no, what did I get? What did I do? What's going on here? And then I walked outside and I heard a bird chirp and I stepped on a stick and I heard it crack and I went, oh, oh wow. Okay, now I'm seeing it. Now I get it, because they are tuned for the outdoors. And when you put them on outside and you put them on in the woods, within moments, it's just like, oh wow. I can hear like normal, I can hunt like normal. Literally within 15 minutes, I forget that I'm wearing them every time I put them on. You know you're wearing something when you first put them on. You can tell the difference in phase and the sound profiles, but also it depends on what sound profile you're using. So I'm using the Alpha Shield Multi Pursuits, which is programmed for several different types of game. You can buy the Alpha Shield Waterfowl, you can buy the Alpha Shield Upland game, and so on. And those are tuned for one type Type of game or you pay a little more and you get the multi pursuits which you can load with basically anything you plan on hunting the tetra has an audio profile designed for so i can just tap the side of them and then boom all of a sudden that's set to waterfowl now it's set to turkey now it's set to deer and i'm able to hear whatever sound profile for whatever i'm hunting before i go any further like i mentioned at the beginning there are no sponsors of this video so i would ask that you please hit the thumbs up button Every time you click the like button, you help this video and content spread to more people and support the channel. All right, now I wanna to get to the pros and cons. I'm gonna lead with the cons. So number one is the initial fit. When I first put these in my ear, they felt too tight. I had the smallest tip on and I put them in and they felt too tight and I was kind of upset about that. I was, I was sort of just like, oh man, I can't believe this. There's no way to make them looser. But I was like, I gotta try them out in the field. I gotta see how they really do. So I took them out hunting and guys, within a few hours, it was like my ears adapted to them. Within a couple of hunts, I forgot that I was wearing them. They seemed a little tight at first, but after wearing them a few times, it's like my ears and the Tetra just adapted to the perfect size and fit, and now they are absolutely excellent in my ears. In fact, I'm glad they're not looser because I never have to worry about these things falling out of my ear, coming loose, or anything like that. They fit excellently. But at first, I was like, oh no, you know, you might have sent them back before you even tested them and did a few hunts with them and then realized, okay, my ear actually kind of adapts to it. Now it might not be the same for you. For you, they might fit perfectly right out the box. But for me, that was a little bit of a con. The next con would be that they use disposable batteries, those number 10 hearing aid batteries. Now, you know, some people, that's a big deal. For me, actually, I prefer disposable batteries versus rechargeables, and there's a reason. When I get to the duck blind and I realize, oh no, I forgot to charge them, or oh no, I left them on since the last hunt a week ago, and the batteries are dead, if they're rechargeables, I've got to plug them into a charger for hours in order to get them charged. So my hunting's ruined. But if they're disposables, I just pull out another pack of batteries. I think I just recently bought 40 pairs of batteries for like $20 dollars that's like a year and a half supply and then I just pop in a fresh battery and they're good to go on a new battery they'll last somewhere between 48 and 72 hours of being 100% on when you're done hunting you just open the battery door that turns them off and then they will last for weeks without draining the battery now only last about a month because of the hearing aid batteries once they've been opened they start to lose their charge immediately so they'll last the battery will last three weeks to a month or so if they're not on and once you turn them on you've got about 72 hours maximum of hunting time which for me I found to be you know I could hunt for all week maybe five days in a row six or eight hour hunts and uh, I don't think I've ever had to change them at that frequency but if I let them sit for a couple weeks after that then I'll need to change them after that but the batteries are cheap you can buy lots of them I always keep a few in my pack and that's a negative for some for me it was a pro but I want to present that under the cons because I know some people would rather them be rechargeable however I think Tetra does make a rechargeable version I think they make a custom molded one which is fit specifically to your ear and they cost 
a little bit more, but they fit better for each individual person and they have a rechargeable battery option. The next con and probably the biggest con is the price. These guys aren't cheap. All right, they cost as much as a good firearm does. And there's different levels, there's different versions, there's different prices, same with firearms, you have different levels and different prices. So they are not cheap. But guys, I honestly believe they are more than worth it. My advice for the last year to people has been, whenever you're ready to upgrade your next firearm, delay that firearm upgrade for a year and buy a pair of these first. Start saving your hearing from today forward that firearm is not going to do a whole lot to make you a better hunter. But these will not just save your hearing, they will do more, in my opinion, than a new firearm for making you a better hunter. Now the thing you need to also be aware of is you can use HSA funds for these, health savings accounts. So if you've got an HSA, you can put that towards these, or depending on how much you got, you could just buy them outright with HSA funds. Which is something I wish I would have known back when I used to have an HSA year, years ago. I would have bought a new pair of these every year. And the pros. I think this list is pretty easy. Number one, they protect your hearing and keep you from going deaf and worse. And yeah, there's a lot of other mental conditions that can come along with significant hearing loss. You can go to Tetra's website and learn about those. Number two, they can make you a better hunter by amplifying the sounds of the game that you are hunting. Number three, they can restore your hearing. They can help you to return to the hearing you used to have before you had hearing loss or maybe you were just born with a you know poor hearing and they can give you better hearing even than you were born with and number four guys this is actually the number one reason that led me to them and that is that you can hear everything that's going on around you you can hear the hunt you can enjoy the hunt you can take it all in you can enjoy being outside and in nature and you know for me i could just put earplugs in to protect my ears and they're cheap and they work but then you can't hear anything and that's what I hated. And when I found the Tetras and I put them in, I realized I can hear everything now and my ears are protected. That's what did it for me. The fact that they amplified game sounds and actually made me a better hunter and improved my hearing, well, that was just icing on the cake. But different people are gonna have different motivators. And guys, you need to know, I contacted Tetra to ask them some questions when I decided I was gonna do this review. I wanted some more information. I wanted some details on some things and I also asked them for a discount code. So they gave me a 10% discount code. I'll put that down below in the video. You guys can go to their website anytime, use that discount code at, at checkout, and it'll give you 10% off your purchase. So what do you do next? Next, you need to click on this video right here, which is another review that I did comparing the Tetras with some other gear on the market. Or maybe you wanna click on this video right here, which YouTube believes is something that you're interested in. Guys, I really appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Watching. Don't forget the discount code down below and the article that I did with more information. Until next time, God bless you and go get them in the woods.